Hey everyone, welcome to a new series. Um, it's just more of a new style of video, really. I'm gonna be doing game reviews, and it's it's called quick reviews because it's gonna be, for the most part, unscripted. Just my thoughts about a game that I've been playing. Just um, yeah, what I liked about it, what I didn't like, and uh, yeah. Uh, so today I'll be going over Mario Golf Super Rush, which came out a couple months ago for Nintendo Switch. And so yeah, let's just dive into my thought. So to start out, the gameplay it was very fun. I, I enjoy it quite a lot. Um, I play this, uh, now it's probably my go-to game as a multiplayer game, because the other two I do have that are would be considered multiplayer on the Switch would be uh, Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers. So, to start, Mario Kart um, is fun, but the courses are a little complex, and when I'm playing with people, um, it's very easy for them to feel like I'm dominating them in the game because just I know the courses more than they do, and it's like there's still a lot of skill involved, and then don't get me started on Super Smash Brothers. It's crazy. It's like so much technical stuff. I mean, I'm not particularly good myself, but it's a very, very complex game with a lot. Um, there's a lot to it. But Mario Golf, it's very simple. Uh, there's not a lot to it. Uh, you can get into it, just dive in, start, start playing. And it's... The skill cap, the, the skill ceiling is not very high, so you can, anyone can play and be competitive. Like, I'm still having competitive games, so I've been able to play this game basically since it came out. Uh, I've been playing it at whenever I want on my Switch, but I have friends who come over, they'll come to the basement, and they'll still be able to play really well super quickly. It's easy to pick up, it's fun, but still is able to emulate golf pretty well. The strategy elements, what club you want to use, the distance, the pressure of a super long putt, the the uh, exhilaration of sinking a long putt, because I play golf in real life. I know how that is. It, it's just awesome. So it, it feels really good. It emulates the sport well, but still blends into the Mario world quite well. They do have these things called special shots, which I personally don't use that much. It's just each character gets a special shot that's kind of based off of their character, what they can do. Um, like, uh, I think Mario uses like a super mushroom, Toad, um, I think spawns more Toads, Rosalina does stars, something like that. But, I don't know, because they're, they're cool, like the animations are cool, all that, but the effects of the actual shots seem to be pretty samey. It's either they'll blast all the other balls out of the way, or it'll... Um, It'll like freeze other balls and or like make your ball bend weird. Like it's there's not much to differentiate the shots besides their animation. So they're cool, but they're not that unique, and I don't personally use them a lot. The courses are fun. Uh, they're well designed. The base ones. They're not really. They don't feel like Mario courses though. Besides, like they have some Mario enemies on the courses, and they have like the. Uh, on one course, they have like the, or they call like the wind things from Mario Odyssey, and I think they're in 3D World as well. But um, and they have like bitty buds and stuff all over the courses. But outside of that, they just kind of feel like regular golf courses. Like one or two regular golf courses is cool. Like that's good to have as a base. But when there's six courses in the game, I don't want four of them to just feel like regular golf courses. Or no, sorry, scratch that. Five of them to feel like regular golf courses. The only one that's unique is the last one. Um, but outside of that, they all kind of feel just like regular courses, which you could find in our world, besides like the, the bitty buds and like the piranha plants and stuff. So that, that was a little disappointing. I didn't like that they weren't super Mario. -y. Like if I'm picking up a Mario sports game, Think about it like Mario Kart. It's not just racing. It's racing, but with wacky Mario ness. You know, it's like the the important parts of the game are also that like there's the items and the uh, like the carts can do cool stuff, like get boosts and stuff. Like that is not really present in the courses. I feel like the courses were where you could give the most immersion into the Mario universe, and the base ones did not really do that. But, the one that they did just 
release and the update, the New Donk City course, that is everything I want in a Mario Golf course. It's immersive. It's in, it feels like you're just playing golf in New Donk City from Mario Odyssey. It's awesome. The music is like a remixed version of the one from the original game, and the course is different. It's it it's got its own different vibe because the other old courses they all played pretty similar besides one having like the wind or extreme extreme wind or like um more hilly but this one like you have to hit off of rocks and like the pavement which add, adds a completely different vibe to how you're hitting the ball and so i think that kind of kills two birds with one stone it it makes you more immersed in the mario world and it also plays completely differently than any of the other courses that they had released before that point and it also focuses a lot more on strategy which I really, really like. That is there in the uh, previous courses, but in New Donk City, because the holes are all really short in par three, you could theoretically be, you should be on the green and on one shot for all of those, all of the holes. And if you wanna try and play it more aggressively, like try to bounce off the rocks and get, um, like use the physics to your advantage, that is, possible but the other thing you can do is just try and place a beautiful shot on the green which i always like to do uh with my character um so this course that they just added is really awesome and i hope that they add more like it like i was hoping they add like a one where you hit off of mushrooms and stuff and the ball bounces super high that's just one idea i had i hope they add stuff like that but next up i did want to talk about speed golf because it's a lot of fun but Personally, I think it tries to do what I was requesting with like the more wacky kind of stuff with the Mario universe, but it feels like it doesn't feel that well executed personally. I if you like it, that's of course it's an opinion, but I think like the way the stamina meter works, the dashing, the boost, I I think it's all just too much to to worry about when I'm playing this Mario Golf game. Like it's important, but I think I would have liked the stamina system to be a little less, um, like it's a little annoying when you're just trying to dash but not do like the super boost. So I think if the running speeds had been a little bit more, if the running speeds had been a little higher, that would have been good. And again, the special shots, like I mentioned earlier, I wish they had been more useful in this mode because I think this is where they would have fit it in. They would have fit in the best. But it, it's, and it's not, it, it's too chaotic, like it, because it's, in speed golf you're playing on regular courses, and so it doesn't feel like it should be this chaotic, but, uh, I don't know, I don't personally like it, but what, uh, the mode they do succeed in adding this chaos into is battle golf, which is I think it's just so much better, in in my opinion. It's just, um, like, there it, it feels like it's designed to be more wacky. It's basically Fortnite, but for golf. Not not really, it's not Fortnite, but for golf. But um, uh, it's like you all fight for individual holes. Um, <laughs> you all try and get your... Um, you have to capture a certain amount of holes in the uh, certain... Um, I think there's a time limit, and you're all like the special shots feel more useful because the 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 uh, area is a lot more controlled, and there's also other obstacles that can come and affect you, like the bombs and stuff like that. So I think that's and like there's like uh, thwomps on the course as well um, that can like smash you and um, stuff like that. So I think the chaos there feels more well designed. The only thing I would say that I didn't like about Battle Golf was I did not like um, that there were only two courses. I think the courses are aesthetically different enough from regular golf courses that are in the game that it, it feels different enough, but I think I would have liked a couple more unique maps. Uh, hopefully they do add it because they are making updates. And um, yeah, I think the courses the the courses aren't bad. Uh, I just want to say that to start. None of the courses in this game are bad. They're all really well designed, but I just think none of them are particularly distinct enough from each other. 
Uh, I'm going to talk about the story mode a little bit. Um, the plot starts out like your regular, you know, like your RPG. I want to be the very best, you know, like like any, any sports game or career ever. Just like I want to be the champion. But then it turns into like something really different that's just like completely wacky. It's like you have to fight all these different bosses and stuff like that. Um, that's just really weird to me, but, um, I think it's, it would have worked if they hadn't decided that they wanted to change what they were doing halfway through the story, because it's fun, but it doesn't feel cohesive, and a story should be cohesive, um, and that did kind of become a problem, because, it starts out like, I mean, I, I guess it could have been like you'd, you'd been whisked into this world of adventure, and but it didn't really set any of that up. It just kind of feels like it suddenly decides, no, we're going to go this way instead. It, it feels like, or as they say in, like, when they're in, in the movie industry, it feels like they had a different writer take the second half of the story. But obviously this is a Nintendo game, so the story's not going to be that complex. But speaking of the world... Um, I do think that the world itself is pretty immersive. It's would have been nice if there was more to do when you were traveling from place to place. It, you just kind of go there. But I think the actual towns, like the, the one you start in, and like all of the locations are really cool. It feels like you're part of the world. You're going to start the, especially the first town. I'm not going to lie, that is, it really immersed me into the world when I started. and. I think that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, but I think it was... The story was never compelling enough for it to pull me in a lot. Like, I, I never found myself, like, wanting to go back and play more. Like, I would rather just play versus matches with my friends or just play a quick round. But the upgrade system is good. You know, standard RPG stuff. You get stat points. You put them into stuff. Um... But other than that, none of this was super, uh, super compelling. But it was it was a fun mode. Um, it was a quick adventure. I enjoyed it. Um, it definitely doesn't bring the game down in any way. It just it feels like there there was room to do more there. Uh, the roster is solid. Obviously, they're gonna add to it. In uh, I know um, there are a couple popular requests, but um, they added Toadette, which made a lot of sense. Um, they have Boo in there now. Um, I don't know what the policy is on adding non-Mario uh, characters, but I would love to see some of that, like, make it more of a mashup in that way, because it seems like they're just doing that for all of the sports titles now, except for Mario Tennis, but that was before, uh, yeah, but whatever. I still think it would be cool if we saw, like, a Hyrule if they added Link or like the the Inklings or something like that, they, we got like a Hyrule Field themed golf course that also like took you on a Death Mountain and stuff. That'd be really cool. Or they added like um, the Splatoon course where you'd have to go on like the like there would be paint guns firing at you at all times and like it would make your ball more slippery and make it roll more or something like that. That would be really cool. But overall, if it's just a Mario Golf game. I think the roster is solid. Um, I can't think of any major exclusions off the top of my head because they got Pauline in there, um, Peach, Bowser. Yeah, they got everyone, I think, that I would care about at least. Um, I play Toad personally, as those of you who know me in real life will attest to. Toad is the best. Um, but yeah, it, overall, it's a great game, and I am enjoying looking forward i'm looking forward to continuing playing with my with my friends and i still think it's the best multiplayer experience on the switch just for like a party game uh we'll see if that changes when mario party superstars comes out but i think so far this is the game i would pick up if you want a uh, multiplayer uh if you're having a party with your friends or you want just a cool multiplayer game for the switch and you somehow don't have mario kart 8 or uh Super Smash Brothers. So if, if this, I would highly recommend this game um, for you if you're thinking about playing multiplayer. As for that's all I have right now. Um, 
Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this review, and I should have more on other games that I'm playing coming out at some point in the future, and other videos just on other topics that aren't just general game reviews. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, uh, consider dropping a like, and that's all I have for now, so see you next time.